Joining us on 402090s on the record today is Senator Greg Letting, Democrat from the Fayetteville area. Senator, thank you so much. I know it's been a very busy week, uh, the last couple of weeks, in fact, in Little Rock. Uh, we're going to talk about a couple of issues, including your bill concerning education and pay. Tell us a little bit about that and uh, how we got to this point. Absolutely. Uh, House and Senate Democrats last week filed legislation to give teachers a $10,000 raise and to raise the minimum salary from $36,000 to $50,000. And over on the Senate, we filed a bill to provide a substantial raise to classified staff uh, in our state's public schools. Uh, it was the third week of session. We had yet to see an education omnibus bill. We felt that this is uh, an urgent issue and it was time to go on ahead and start tackling uh, what we think is a very important thing to do for our state's public schools by investing in our teachers and the staff that keep our public schools running. So let's first talk about the bill that uh, pertains to teachers with the uh, salary amount going up to 50000 um, What are your constituents who are in that uh, field telling you about uh, why this is important to them? We know Arkansas, unfortunately, faces a teacher shortage right now. It's really, we're seeing a lot of people leave the profession, part of that because of the pandemic, part of it just because of salaries here in Arkansas. Right now, we are 47th uh, in starting salary for teachers, uh, and we are last in the South, and nationwide, we are 48th in average teacher salaries. And so neighboring states like Texas are using this to their advantage, and they're recruiting our teachers. So we feel it's important that we do more to invest in them and, again, the staff that keep our schools running. Uh, so the House bill, 1268, would raise the minimum salary from $36,000 to $50,000, making this much more competitive and providing teachers uh, a higher salary uh, while also providing all teachers a $10,000 raise. Uh, this is a significant investment. It's going to cost about $350 million for that $10,000 raise and then about another $30 million to help get everybody up to at least $50,000. Uh, but that 350 million, it is a, a large number, but it's only about 6% of the general revenue expenditures for fiscal year 2022. So we're not talking about a massive chunk uh, of the state budget. With the classified bill that was Senate Bill 149, that would take minimum hourly wage for uh, classified staff who are on hourly wages from 11 to $15. Mm -hmm. It's a $4 increase. It's double what the House Education Committee uh, recommended in their last uh, education adequacy report. Uh, we just felt it was important to invest in our, you know, the people who keep the cafeteria is running, who keep the classrooms clean, all the staff that you sometimes don't always think of when you're thinking about public schools, uh, but without whom, uh, you know, public schools just wouldn't run the way that they should. And so uh, there's also money in there for a raise for classified staff who are on salary. That bill, the price tag there comes to about $42 million. It's an investment that we feel is absolutely critical. Uh, public education is our most important civic institution. It should be our top priority here at the Capitol. Okay, so when you talk about your Senate bill that uh, has been filed in the Senate, you're talking about those what class classified staff. So they they include everybody um, from cafeteria, bus drivers. Uh, wh what does that include? Uh, yeah, any employee who counts as classified staff, so it would count bus drivers, cafeteria workers, custodial staff. Mm -hmm. uh, Principals, vice principals, anybody at an administrative level is not included. Uh, we're looking just really at public school teachers and uh, the staff, uh, school nurses, librarians, counselors uh, would also be included in that bill. Now, Republicans have been saying and uh, the new governor has been saying that education is the number one issue. Uh, do you think uh, you're going to have a hard time passing a bill like this and the um, the bill for teacher salaries? Um, in in the legislature this year we absolutely shouldn't but for politics um, Democrats and Republicans alike agree that we do need to give teachers raises. You know, we had this discussion last summer. Governor Hutchinson pitched a $10,000 raise. Uh, Democrats quickly jumped on board and some Republicans. Uh, we tried. Democrats introduced legislation uh, last August during a special session to try to get teacher raises. But the predominant mood among most of my Republican colleagues was that we should wait till the 2023 session. Mm -hmm. uh, we're here now. And even though it is busy here at the Capitol, there hasn't been a lot of legislation moving. And the, the big thing that everybody's waiting for is this education omnibus reform package. Okay. Uh, and it's probably going to include raises for at least teachers, if not also staff, and that's good. Uh, but we feel that that's a separate issue and that shouldn't be included in this bill that's going to contain some more controversial elements. Uh, it's, it's obvious why they're lumping it all together. Uh, but while we wait on that bill, Democratic lawmakers felt like let's go on ahead and start moving on salaries and wages for classified staff and address that issue so that we can have a, a, a more constructive debate on some of these issues that are going to be a little more controversial. 
All right, now staying on this topic, but a different bill, Senator, uh, making its way through uh, that's been causing a lot of uh, controversy and debate has been the restroom bill. Talk to us a little bit about what it means when it uh, concerns transgenders and this restroom bill and what is your reaction from the Democratic side? It's just another bill that uh, is going to do a lot of harm to mm -hmm. kids our LGBTQ community here in Arkansas, uh, and it's part of a, a national movement on the far right to target the trans community. Uh, we saw a lot of legislation, unfortunately, become law in 2021 targeting this community, and you're seeing it again. Uh, you know, just last week in the Senate, we saw the passage of Senate Bill 43, a bill that would classify drag performances as adult businesses. Um, that's not what drag performances are. Uh, and these bills aren't really seeking to accomplish something, in my opinion, so much as they are seeking to attack a community. And so I'm firmly opposed to that House bill, and if it does make it down to the Senate, I'll be voting against it. Now, are you surprised that uh, these topics have been the focus of the last couple of weeks? Not necessarily, because uh, again, a lot of lawmakers are holding back on their own legislation, waiting for not only the education omnibus bill, mm -hmm. but this criminal justice reform package that's out there. Okay. So we haven't seen a lot of legislation moving, and so lawmakers have a little more free time than they might. And so you're seeing this more vice and cultural war type uh, legislation advance. And I really think that's a shame. I think our number one goal when we show up should be to looking uh, to, be to look at policies that will make the lives better for all our Kansans, whether it's trying to uh, uh, fund jobs programs, strengthen our public schools, strengthen infrastructure, do things that are going to benefit everybody instead of filing legislation that is going to needlessly and, and harmfully attack certain communities. Senator Lighting joining us from Little Rock this week. We appreciate you joining us here on 402090s on the record. We'll be back.